After a delay of several weeks, Samsung finally released the first beta update of One UI 6.0 for the Galaxy S23. At the moment, the update is available for beta testers in Germany, South Korea, and the United States. In the One UI 6.0 update, Samsung introduced a lot of new features, as well as an improved user interface design. You can get acquainted with the list of absolutely all changes in One UI 6.0 on our Telegram. The link to it is in the description. Or just drive the car on the cart. Go there, there is an operative update and all the necessary information. And if there are any questions, then in our cozy tech part you can always discuss. In general, fly into our cart. And now let's look at the main innovations in One UI 6.0. The new Samsung firmware gets a new modern font with cutouts. The company slightly improved design of notifications. The area of the quick settings bar was reorganized to bring it in accordance with the standard design of Android from Google, which featured Android 13. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi have large switches at the top, while the rest remain the same as in One UI 5. All quick settings buttons are now placed in certain sections. For example, buttons related to the display, such as dark mode and eye comfort, are grouped by the brightness of the screen. In the lower part of One UI 6.0, the quick settings switches are displayed, connected to the smart home, including elements of speed control and smart view. Access to the full quick access panel in One UI 6.0 has also been simplified. You get instant access to the full open menu with all its settings with one simple gesture. Just slide your finger down from the top right corner of the screen. To use this new gesture function, you need to enable the instant access parameter in the quick access panel settings. Of course, for One UI, this is a revolutionary step. Such a gesture really changes its philosophy and brings a certain freshness to the interface. And I'm curious to know your opinion on it. Write here in the comments or in our telegram what you think about this new gesture. Let's move on. When you turn on the air mode and then turn on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, One UI 6.0 remembers your preferences. When you activate the air mode next time, it will not turn off Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, depending on your actions last time. The interface has also changed the design of the slider and switches. The lock screen now offers the ability to adjust the location of the watch widget. The watch widget also has more color options, including newer stylish fonts. The media player widget is now much more modern with a wave indicator. However, the visual effects on the indicator can only be seen when the media player widget is deployed. Samsung also presents a non-linear animation in One UI 6.0. However, so far, these animations and transitions seem to be jerky, but this is normal for the first beta. The settings app has undergone some changes. The device care section has given way to the battery section. The battery section shows a detailed graph of the battery power consumption, the time of the last charge of the device, information about the battery, energy saving parameters, the limitation of the full use of the battery for applications, applications for deep sleep, quick charge settings and performance profiles. You also get an intellectually changing lock screen, based on specific modes and scenarios of your everyday life. That is, you can configure it in mode and scenario menu. For example, when it's time to turn on sleep mode, a soothing photo of a forest that will help you relax may appear on the lock screen. The camera app has also received a new design with the One UI 6.0 update. The photo and video settings, including the filter resolution, are now easier to find and change. The camera app also offers improved scanning of documents and the camera app also offers improved scanning of documents and text, automatically cutting images from scanned documents, automatically cutting images from scanned documents. Now the app offers three options for image quality and shutter speed. Maximum, medium, and minimum. Maximum uses a longer shutter speed and processing time for the best image quality and the least noise, and medium uses a balance between quality and speed. The minimum parameter offers the fastest shutter speed with a risk of lower quality and higher noise level. In addition, Samsung has added additional parameters for aligning and placing watermarks. One UI 6.0 also adds a new widget for the camera app and allows you to preset the modes. The widget allows users to pre-select the camera mode and the place where to save photos on the phone. For example, you can select the portrait mode and install the folder only for portrait photos. After you have said which camera to use in which mode, you can place this widget on the main screen. The built-in gallery app has a new, expanded view of the history, which displays the history of the automatically created device. The new version of the app also offers basic editing parameters for images and videos in the file mode. Moreover, now you can use two hands to select several files from the gallery app and transfer them to other apps. You can select an image and video with one hand, and then use the other hand to switch to another app. This greatly simplifies the multitasking. Samsung has also updated all One UI smileys with the One UI 6.0 update. 
New emojis now look more pleasant to the eye compared to previous versions. The earlier versions of the smileys that the company used look outdated. These new smileys seem to be to a large extent inspired by the 3D smiles that Microsoft introduced in Windows 11. One UI 6.0 also contains a revised weather app, which shows more information, including the phase of the moon, sunrise and sunset, images and additional data. New widgets for the weather app have also appeared. The phone app has not received any major improvements, and the contacts, keyboard and middleware sections are largely similar to One UI 5.0. But Samsung has introduced a reminder app before the One UI 6.0 version. Reminders can be sorted by a large number of categories, and in the categories, reminders are sorted by date and time. A new category of places for reminders has appeared, which is activated when you reach a certain place. Friends, these are, of course, not all the changes that await One UI 6.0. Once again, I will repeat that the full changelog I posted on our Telegram, the link to it is in the description, go and subscribe. Well, that's all for today, I will definitely keep you informed if some new features are added or we learn something interesting. So subscribe to the channel, see you in the next video. Good luck to you in Bulgaria.